and he's at the famous Billy Wicks Sputnik Monroe match in 1957 that held the attendance record in Memphis for decades. So he's around sort of the show business, uh, and, and, and to that matter, even wrestling at a very early age, some of our younger listeners may not be familiar with Sputnik Monroe. Tell everybody about this landmark performer and this match in particular. Sputnik was one of the all time, first of all, he's a great heel, but also Sputnik was most famous for not wrestling in the South unless they allowed back in the day, colored people to come in. So Sputnik did not believe in segregation. Sputnik would not wrestle unless everyone was allowed to come in and see him wrestle. And Sputnik would go and Sputnik would visit the black part of town and drink in their bars and have dinner. But there was no prejudice in Sputnik Monroe. There was no, he, he didn't, See, other than he felt everyone should be treated equally, and he refused. He was such a draw and so powerful in the South with being such a great draw that promoters in that day, Sputnik was so far ahead of his time that promoters would have, hey, on segregated shows, everyone's welcome. Come on in to see your hero, Sputnik Monroe. And Sputnik drew tremendous crowds in the South, and he was just so far ahead of his time in everything that he did. I mean, there, the Jerry Lawler used to, to, to talk about, he goes, you know, the African-American folks in Tennessee had picture of Jesus Christ, Martin Luther King, and Sputnik Monroe in their houses. It's a big deal uh, that Sputnik you know, did what he did in Memphis. And that's cool that, you know, their big match in 57 that set the attendance record, uh, was actually one that was, was intact until the Monday night war. So quite a while. Uh